how the sp3 hybridization in water molecules can be described water molecules structure central atom is oxygen hydrogen hydrogen this contains two lone pair of electrons okay oxygen electronic configuration central atom has atomic number eight electronic configuration is one is two two is two two px two py and two pz two to four five six seven and this one eight so this has two unpaired electrons it means two unpaired electrons can form covalent bonds with one is of hydrogen atom so whenever you see a molecule which contains single bond you just imagine that it has sp3 hybridization keep it in your mind every molecule which is showing single bonds all the single bonds contains sp3 hybridization so this can show sp3 hybridization sp3 is formed by the overlap of 1s and 3p atomic orbitals okay this is not involved in hybridization because this is belonging to the first orbit first orbit electrons or first orbit orbitals can never be involved in the bond formation can never be involved in the hybridization so only valence electron only electrons present in the last shell valence shell can be involved in bonding or can be involved in the hybridization so after the overlap of 1s and 3p atomic orbitals will mix together to form new equivalent hybrid orbitals how many hybrid orbitals 3 plus 1 4 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals so after overlapping after mixing these 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals will be formed okay 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals will be formed so this sp3 hybrid this is not now 2s2 now after overlapping with these it has become sp3 this is also now sp3 after the overlap this is also sp3 this is also sp3 this contains one of the sp3 contains two electrons and another also contains two electrons and this one contains one electron and this one contains one electron okay so that there are two sp3 hybrid orbitals containing the paired electrons and two contain unpaired electrons or half filled electrons okay so these as i have shown you already that this oxygen okay this is arrangement of orbitals is just like the tetrahedral arrangement one orbital sp3 this one one will be on this side third will be on this side and fourth one will be on the back side and back side hybrid object will be shown slight tilted slightly tilted and in smaller in size just showing that this is on the back side but it, it is not actually the smaller just showing on the page you have to draw it bit smaller in size just to show that it is the back side orbital so this one contains lone pair one paired electron this is also containing one lone pair of electron and this one contains one electron and this one also contains one electron okay so this is sp3 hybrid orbital of oxygen this is sp3 hybrid orbital of oxygen this is also sp3 hybrid orbital of oxygen this one is also sp3 hybrid orbital of oxygen these two sp3 hybrid orbitals cannot be involved in bonding in any other atomic orbital because these are paired and paired orbitals can never form bonds these unpaired electrons can form bond with the 1s orbital of hydrogen and this one also can form bond with the 1s orbital of hydrogen okay so as a result of sp3s overlap this oxygen forms covalent bond and these two this your lone pair okay and this one on the third side this is also lone pair okay so lone pair you can also 
join this by dotted lines okay and as a result of presence of two lone pairs one lone pair over here and other lone pair over here as a result of presence of two lone pairs this these two lone pair exert repulsion over these bond pairs okay so this is arrangement no doubt tetrahedral tetrahedral normal tetrahedral angle is 109.5 degree in ammonia there is one lone pair there was one lone pair in ammonia as a result of repulsion of one lone pair this angle was reduced to 107.5 degree okay this is normal tetrahedral like in methane this is tetrahedral arrangement but with one lone pair like in ammonia this is also tetrahedral arrangement in water molecule but there are two lone pairs which are exerting the repulsion over the two bond pairs that's why once again bond is shortened or reduced or compressed to 104.5 degree in case of water there is no lone pair there is maximum angle 109.5 degree in ammonia there is one lone pair as a result of one lone pair repulsion over the bond pairs bond is compressed from 109.5 degree to 107.5 degree as a result of two length lone pairs on the central polyvalent atom bond pairs are compressed by these two lone pairs and as a result bond is more compressed to and more shortened to 104.5 degree